Welcome to the short introduction to the open source client management system OPSI. What we are talking about in this video is what is OPSI, what are the core features of OPSI, how does OPSI work and what are the OPSI extensions. So, the OPSI is a client management system for Windows client based on Linux servers with the core features automatic operating system installation, software deployment, hard and software inventory and support for multiple locations. The supported clients are Windows XP to Windows 7 in the 32-bit and 64-bit variants. The operating system installation starts with the boot of a Linux boot image which is normally done via network boot Pixie. The Linux boot image may be also booted from CD. Then normally we start on Windows installation with an unattended setup and this unattended setup is supported by an automatic driver integration based on the chip IDs of the client we want to install the operating system on. So the operating system installation runs without any user interaction and if it is finished the OPSI client agent is installed on top of the operating system which does the software deployment to install all needed application software to the client. The OPSI client agent works in the default situation um, that it starts at boot time before the user login contacts via web service the OPSI configuration server asks is there something to do and if so um, generic script driven setup program is started which does all the software installation and after the installations are finished the user may log in to the system. The OPSI client agent is event driven. This means it may not be only activated at boot time it may be also activated at other situations like user login. Um, it may be activated if a network interface becomes active. It may be activated from outside by the server to do a push installation. And it can also be activated by a timer. <clears throat> what the OPSI client agent does in core is to run a script with administrative privileges. So this leads to two central points. The first one is for every software you want to install you have to write down a little script which describes how to install this software without user interaction. The second point is that everything that you may write down to a script you can do to the client, not only software installation. So this feature we use for inventory. The hardware inventory script collects data via WMI and sends it back to the server. The software inventory collects data from the registry and this data is also sent back to the server and you may look for this data at the OPSI management interface. So, we want to have a look at the OPSI management interface and here we see 
add first <coughs> our client tab, all our clients that are managed. At the left side we see the possibility to have client groups and groups in groups, so it makes comfortable to manage a lot of clients. I can now select clients that I want mana to manage here or in this tab and go to the product configuration. At the product configuration I see the products that are installed at the server. At the right side I see more detailed information about the version and product description. Here I may have installation sequences and there are the possibility to have special product properties which may modify the installation client specific. At the center I see the installation state for the selected product on the selected client. I see in report uh, from the last action I see in which version this software is installed at this client. And here I have the requested action and now I may select a requested action setup for the flash player on this client. Now I could restart this client to uh, install the software or I can send the client um, signal that the software have to be installed now. So let's have a look at the client. At the client I see the OPSI client agent becomes active, contacts to the OPSI server, ask if there is anything to do, mounts the share where the software is located and then starts the generic installation program which now does the installation on the client and sends all results back to the server and now the action is completed. If I go back to my management interface and reload the action requests is vanished and I could see here a new timestamp which tells me that there is something happened. If it happens that an installation fail, um, I would see here at the report a um, red failed and I can go to the tab log files to see what is happening on the client. So I see here the log file of my Flash Player installation I just showed to you and <coughs> I have not to go to the client to see what has happened. Here I have also the special products for hardware inventory and software inventory which collects the data about the client and these data are presented at the tabs hardware inventory and here can I see uh, the information about the hardware of my uh, client very detailed and at the tab software inventory I see what software is installed in which version which architecture and some additional informations. So let's go back to the presentation. 
<coughs> I showed you the core features and there um, some extensions. Uh, these extensions are not free of charge and um, the most important extensions are uh, license management module. It's a database backend for higher performance at large installations. The possibility for hierarchical grouping of clients that I showed to you. Uh, a possibility to integrate clients with slow network connections like home office and uh, enhanced support for multiple locations and the possibility to give the user the option to <coughs> select software that has to be installed on his client by himself uh, without the need to give the user administrative privileges because the software will be installed by OPSI. So I thank you for your attention and more information you will find at our internet websites. Thank you.